close to them. Is, uh, something wrong? What? Did I say something? Out loud? Yes. Yes, you did. You said you won't lose to them. Oh, I said that, huh? Well, this place is the main headquarters for ACQ-48, you know? Okay, and? I really wanted to go to their next concert, but they're so popular that the tickets sold out before I could get one. Just once, I wish I could see what they're really like on stage. But what about cancellations? You could try to buy a ticket off of somebody who's not going. Not too uncommon for something unexpected to keep a person from going to an event like that, after all. That's a good point. There might even be a few people around trying to scalp their tickets right now. I should look. Sounds good. I'll come with. It wasn't easy getting this ticket. Hey, Ryu, that dude might be just the ticket to getting you a ticket. Okay, I'll ask him. Excuse me, um, you wouldn't happen to have a ticket to the ACQ48 show, would you? Huh? How'd you know? I just had a feeling. And I also have a feeling you're not able to go anymore. Am I right? Uh... Ride as rain? How the hell? <laughs> we'll just call it idle power. So, um, since you're not going to be using it, would you mind maybe letting me have your ticket? Well, I mean, it's true I can't go, but I could probably make a pretty yanny on this if I hopped it. <sighs> That's what I thought. Oh, well. Hmm. Mm, wait, I've got an idea. You're an ACQ48 fan yourself, right? So maybe you've got some rare goods or something that you can trade me for it? Rare goods? Yeah, you know, hard to find stuff. Signed CDs, photos from live performances, that kind of thing. If you've got anything like that, I'd be glad to give you my ticket in exchange, depending on what it is. I see, but mm, I don't really think I have anything like that to give you. Well, if you find something, you know where to find me. My favorite girl is Kyoko Okachimachi, incidentally. So get me some rare stuff of hers, and the ticket will fly out of my hand so fast there'll be a sonic boom! Asahi, this is hopeless. Keep your chin up, Ryu. All we have to do is find some rare goods, right? How hard can that be? Huh? This is Akiba. Its cup runneth over with fans who have spare merch from all their favorite fandoms. Oh, you know what? You're right! Damn straight I am! Now let's go hunt down something good. Your angle, little missy. You trying to sell me something? Oh, no! Actually, I've got something I want to ask you. S something you want to ask me? I know this is kind of sudden, but you wouldn't happen to have any rare Kyoko Kachimachi memorabilia, would you? Oh, Kyo stuff? Yeah, I got some. A ton of it, even. <laughs> got an out of print first run photo book. <laughs> Five of them, in fact. And every one of them signed. <laughs> S seriously? Um, if it's all right, would you be willing to sell me just one of them? No, 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 no. They're all my babies. I could never part with any of them for mere cash. <laughs> uh, really? But I might consider trading something for one of them. Huh? Yeah. See, lately, I've been more keen on Shoko Ueno than old Kyo. And since she only just joined ACQ48 not too long ago, there aren't a whole lot of Shoko goods on the market yet. So you find me something Shoko-tastic, and I'll trade you one of my Kyo classics. Until then, idle later away! Uh, what now? I 
think the answer to that's pretty obvious, Mippity. Huh? Think about it. What's easier to find? A new performer's anything or a signed photo book of a well-established idol? Oh, wow, you're right. This should be even easier to track down. Damn straight again. So let's go find us some Shoko Ueno goods, shall we? I guess they really aren't selling any, huh? Hey there, excuse me. Yes? I'm trying to find some rare Shoko Ueno merchandise and... Oh, Shoko, huh? I've got myself a photo book of hers, actually. It's good stuff. Really? Um, do you think you might be willing to part with it? Hmm. Well, she may be a new member, but she's still a member all the same. So I really don't think I can bring myself to give it up. Sorry. I'm not even a huge Shoko fan, but it's the principle, you know. Now Haruko Ugui Sudani, she's the one for me. Well, that was disappointing. I'm sorry to have taken you on such a wild goose chase. No worries, it's all good. It seems like all we do is wander around talking to strangers, and I feel bad that I just made you do more of that. It's fine, really. It was a noble effort. Shall we, though? Okay. Let's go back, heads held high, and maybe try this again another day. Thanks for sticking with me, Asahi. Anytime. We should probably break the bad news to the guy outside the ACQ48 cafe, though. That we tried to find some good Kyoko Okachimachi goods, but just couldn't get our hands on any. Delusion scheme. We gonna go in? Oh, hey, you're that girl from before. I'm really sorry. We checked everywhere, but there just weren't any rare Kyoko goods around. Yeah, they are hard to find, aren't they? We went all over looking for a way to get you something of hers. Jeez, you didn't have to do all that. I'm really impressed you took the time to, though. Sorry it was a bust. Oh no, it's quite all right. The thrill is in the hunt. Well, naturally, I can't just give you my ticket, but since you went to so much trouble, I'd like you to have this. Oh, it's... It's a candid shot of Haru Haru. Haru Haru? As in... Haruko Ugu Isudani. Which means... Yes! Huh? What are you two... Oh, oh, um, could you wait here for just a few minutes longer? Huh? Don't worry, we'll be right back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. Wait, is this... How? These are totally photos of Kyoko Okachimachi! Candid ones! <laughs> and the book is signed! <laughs> yep, we weren't messing around. Then you'll give me this? Just my ticket? Absolutely. A deal's a deal. Oh my god, thank you so much. Today started out as a bummer, but what a turnaround! You're the best! We did it, Nippity! Yes! We started from nothing and came out on top like the straw millionaire. Thank you so very much for all your help, Asahi. Think nothing of it. I'm surprised you're such a big fan of ACQ48, though. Huh? But I'm not. What? So what was this whole hunt all about, then? Oh, this is for research purposes. I'm always studying the way famous idols behave, the way they talk, their mannerisms, and all of that. You never know when I might have the chance to use any skills I steal from ACQ48 on my own adoring fans. So, uh, you've got a passion for study, then, we'll say. Come on down to the office, Lady Cafe, where every day is business casual. We're sure to suit all your needs. Man, they've even got OL cafes now? Oh, Asahi, don't tell me you're a good OL boy. 
No, I'm not. Jeez. It's okay. You don't have to hide it. I'm a fan of cosplay myself, after all. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. You're a cosplayer? Well, an aspiring one, I guess. I just like to look at the costumes. Though, wait, wasn't there a cosplay shop right around here somewhere? Hmm, a cosplay shop, huh? Well, there might be one inside Soldier Zone. Yeah, that's the one. Um, uh, do you think I could run in there real quick and see what they have? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I can go with you, too. Right then, off I go. Or not. I'm back. You sure are. Did you find any cute costumes? I did. Nothing but super cute ones, in fact. Everyone a winner. They kind of inspired me, so I think I'm going to make one myself sometime soon. Make one yourself? Really? That's right. The finest clothing is the clothing you make yourself. But first things first, we have to find some cloth. Hmm. Cloth, huh? Can't say I ever really looked for any before. Do they sell that kind of stuff in Akiba? Oh, I have a very specific cloth in mind, and I know right where to get it. I've been thinking about it for a while. Well, that'll certainly save us some time. Will you come with me? Uh, I guess. Where is it? The Maid Delusionscape. The... What? Headed into the Delusions? Uh, Mippity, are you really planning to use cloth from Delusions? It's economical. B yeah, that's one word for it. We need to find those Delusions that use magic. I should be able to get what I need from, mm, let's say, five of them? Okay, so we're going to kill five monsters and loot their bodies then. Quite a bold, innovative plan. Let's do it. Makes five. Let's head back out, shall we? Look at all the super cute cloth we got. Yeah, it's definitely cloth. Right? And what's more, we even got a little tougher in the process of gathering it. It's win win. Killing two birds with one stone, huh? That's right. Being an idol isn't just about looks or talent, but physical strength, too. Training is essential. Yeah, but if you keep on training like that to get all your clothes... Hello, Beef Sticks! I'm Akihabara Swola Singer Mippity Muff, a.k.a. Ryu Mimose, age 14! Let's hippity hop straight to a diving elbow drop out of nowhere! <sighs> There's no telling what'll happen. Huh? <laughs> Who the... Caught ya, red-handed. You walking with some guy. How positively debauched. The hell was that all about? Uh... Is he some kind of magazine reporter or something? But why? Mippity? What? Sorry. Why are you apologizing? You're the one who got your photo snapped. I think. 
Are you cool with that? Oh, yeah. I mean, if he wants to take photos of me, it's actually kind of an honor. Maybe. An honor? How? Well, if you're an idol, you're always going to be a target for magazine reporters looking for a scoop. So this just means I really am an idol. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Nibbity. How you always see the bright side of things like that. Oh, no, I don't really. I just don't want any of this to be a bother for you guys. I'd feel terrible if I caused you trouble. I mean, I certainly don't mind. Though I'm not really a real idol yet, am I? So why then? Nibbity? Asahi, let's go find that reporter. I've got some questions for him. If you're going to buy items, do be certain to spend wisely. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. Putting on that cute act and all. Heck's your deal, kid. Damn, he's getting away. We have to go after him, Asahi. Something happened? Yeah, this random dude took a photo of me without any makeup on. Totally must have been with a tabloid or something. You think it was him? Um, I'm sorry, miss, but could you tell me which way he went? That way! Seemed like he was headed toward the side streets. Great, thank you. Let's go, Asahi. Shall we stock up on items? Be certain you purchase enough. Parts. Shall we upgrade? <laughs> Looks like I lost him. There he is. And he hasn't noticed us yet. I'm gonna go tell him off. Wait, hold on. Huh? If you just run up to him like before, you'll have a repeat of last time. Let's try to catch him in a pincer attack. Oh, I gotcha. You stay here for a second. I'll go around the other way and approach him from behind. Hmm, looks like they gave up. <laughs> Guess I win. Who's that, you say? We gave up, did we? <laughs> Can't get out this way. Damn. What? He ran farther in? Don't worry. That way's a dead end. Hold it right there, punk. Ah, oh, hell. You've got your corner now. <laughs> well, what do you even want from me? You gonna make me delete my photos or something? Nope, that's not it. It's not? Then what are we... So what is it then? Spit it out, kid. Um, I just want to know why. Why'd you take that photo of me? Why? Exactly. Why? That's all. I just want an explanation. Why me? It's just what I do. I sell photos to people who are interested in that sort of thing. Oh, brother. Dare I ask what sort of thing you're talking about? You know, that sort of thing. Lots of gents around here are into it. People who get off on catching ladies cavorting with men or stealing glimpses of them without their makeup. So then, you're not a reporter, are you? Huh? A reporter? Not even DMZ, babe. Who the hell are you, anyway, that a reporter would want a photo of you? Uh, I'm... Okay, I think it's time to cut the crap, you perv. Asahi... Back off, pal. Give me that camera. Whoa, the hell are you doing? There we go. All data deleted. Damn it all, you little punk. Mark my words, you're gonna regret this. I think he's the one who's going to regret this. 
Huh? He just made an enemy of a future chart topper. That can't be good for his career. What? Asahi, wow! Thank you so much for the vote of confidence. Of course. And don't worry too much about that guy. People like him make me sick. Anyway, we should get going. I will become a top idol someday. But I still have a long way to go. Something smells great. Even needs get hungry, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Mm. Was that? The cry of my hungry stomach. Seriously, that was a stomach growl? But it was so cute. Creepy. Did you want to get something to eat, Nippity? There's an awesome beef bowl place right around here. God, how can you be so insensitive? A girl her age can't be eating garbage like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess it is kind of junky. You guys want to go on a food hunt then? See if we can't find something better? I, Asahi Tachibana, do hereby swear to suss out a restaurant perfectly befitting your delicate palate, m'lady. Creepy. <laughs> if you're going to buy items, do be certain to spend wisely. We should make use of it. Hey, how about this place? They've got veggie ramen to die for. Hmm, it does smell really good. Are you an actual idiot, Asahi? Huh? You spit out all that schmaltz about finding a restaurant suited to her delicate palate. Then you suggest ramen? We're girls in the prime of our lives, you know. Ramen is beneath us. But... <laughs> I actually kind of want to. Stop that. You don't have to stick up for this idiot. Let him learn. Jeez, call off your dogs, why don't you? Then stop behaving like one and take us somewhere... cuter. Uh, okay. <laughs> How about here? It's a hamburger place, but it's pretty high-end. Wow, I never get to go to places like this. Vetoed. What? Why? Junk like this makes you fat. And it'll just make a mess all over our clothes, too. You really have no consideration for others, do you? Seriously, Ko, have you suddenly developed a beaming to Asahi fetish or something? This is getting old. Come down, please. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll find someplace better. I just want this quest to be over so I can acquire the Smile of Idol reward. Creepy. About this. No self respecting Japanese person can say no to curry. It's in our genes. Mmm, you can even smell it from here. Yum! V Toad. Thank you. Come again. What? You want us to reek of curry? I swear, I've never met a more inconsiderate human being in my life. Fine. Then you pick something. I'm done. Like I said from the get-go, you need to take us somewhere that shows you've actually considered what's best for Ryu. Well, then, Mippity, what would you like to eat? Did you have something in mind? What would I like to eat? Yes, so maybe Ko will shut up and we can actually put some food in our bellies before they start to implode. Well, if it's up to me, I'd like to go to Violet Eaton. Huh? 
They have some of my favoriteest foods in the world on their menu. They do? Surprise. Come in, come in. Sit wherever you'd like. In we go. Why are we here? This place seems pretty far from suitable for girls in the prime of their life, if you ask me. For once, I agree with you. Uh, so, Jimmy? Oops, say no more. That's the face of a woman who hungers. But fear not, I can have you sated in no time. Thanks so much. What on earth is she going to bring out? I can't even imagine. And there we have it. Oh, it looks unbelievably delicious. Uh, Asahi, what is it? Do you know? It's Takawasa, octopus and wasabi. Uh, okay, and that? Squid shiokara, spicy, salty squid. Mmm, oceany, but with a fun kick. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I always do. Thank you again. This... this doesn't fit your image at all. Huh? Hey, Takawasa's plenty cute. Literally nothing about Takawasa is even remotely cute by any definition. Do you actually like this food, Ryu? Oh yes, it's one of my favorites. It is? But that one fan of yours was saying... Her favorite food item is candy, and her least favorite is wasabi. She has one brother and one sister, both much older. Oh, that's just my character profile. My persona. Your persona? That's right. It's not very idle like to eat takawasa, after all. As you said, it doesn't fit my image. I... I can't believe you thought that far ahead. My big brother always sits down in the evening with a beer and stuffs his face full of takawasa and shiokara and stuff. And after he let me try some once, I've been a big fan. I just can't get enough now. Ryu's got quite a refined palate for her age. Care to try some of our takawasa surprise, sweetie? Say oh. Oh, wow. This is so good. The dreams shattering. Baby, baby, the wind it rages. Huh? I see. Fierce winds do make for good imagery. Uh, Mippity? Sing a song, babe, today for you. No one else here, these plains my stage is. Chase the wind, babe, in search of you. In search of you? Uh, getting kind of worried over here. You hit your head or something? Huh? Oh, sorry. I just kind of got in the zone there for a minute. In the zone? Chase the wind, babe. Come again? Song lyrics. I'm trying to learn how to write evocative phrases and things like that so my fans can better sing along. So whenever I get a chance to soak up the knowledge and experience of others, I always try to take it. Ah, uh, I see. Still, right now, I'm just imitating other people. To write a whole song, you need to really know the subject. Every interview with musicians I've read always says that they compose based on their own personal experiences. Okay. In that case, how about we go and do a little living? Huh? You know, talk to interesting people, go places you don't usually go, stuff like that. Real life experiences. You mean you'll help me? Oh, heck yeah, of course. Is there some place you've always been dying to go see? Um, actually, yes. There's a place I've been curious about near the station's electric town exit, if that's okay. Huh? 
Huh? Here? Yeah, in past Pachinko. I've been curious about this place for a long time now. So are you ready? Let's go, go, go! No, I think we should stay, stay, stay away. Huh? It's just, um, that you're a little young for this place. Oh, really? And here I thought I'd be able to have all kinds of new experiences today. Whoa! For how long, I wonder? For how long have I been enchanted by this silvery radiance? What are you babbling about now? The close of a long battle didst I at long last settle to the sweetest of slumbers. Brilliance extinguished, not a shred remaining in mine hands. Ah, so you lost your balls then. I hate it when that happens. Thus do I depart upon a new journey, that I may somehow reobtain the silvery radiance that was lost. Is he still gonna play, even after all that? Huh? Don't worry about it, Mippity. You're better off not knowing about this life. Is there someplace else you might want to go, though? Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah! There's a store on the side street I'd really like to check out. Huh? Max number one? No, next to it. Wait, you don't mean... I sure do. Right here, Asahi. The Long Story Tavern, Aotsuka. You want to go to a tavern? Actually, that kind of makes sense. We were talking about this before. My big brother always sits down in the evening with a beer and stuffs his face full of Takawasa and Shiokara and stuff. After he let me try some once, I've been a big fan. I just can't get enough now. Talk is cheap. Come on! Hey, wait a second. Huh? What's wrong? The bamboo flounder here looks positively scrumptious. And I think they've got scallop fritters and stingray fin. Oh, and there are bonito flakes on everything. Uh, how old are you again, Mippity? I'm 14. You need to be 20 to get into a place like this, you know. Oh, thank you, Merchley. What? It's him again. Are you following us or something? Or maybe we're following you. That most resplendent of silvery radiances hath forcibly ululated even the undeserving tongue within mine own mouth. Ed, does that mean the Benito was good? Come now, deeper into the universe. We fly upon this itinerant journey, whose end we can snare know. He sure seems to, uh, have a lot of free time, doesn't he? You could say that, yeah. So, Mippity, is there maybe some place a little more wholesome that you'd like to see? You know, some place with a really cute vibe to it, suitable for an idol singer like you? Hmm, a cute vibe, huh? Oh, I've got it! I know a place on Main Street I've been dying to check out! Let's go! about it for the longest time now. Um, it's, uh... It says costumes on the window, so I guess it's a cosplay shop, huh? They must have some really lovely clothes. Let's go in, Asahi. No, no way, no how. Uh-uh. Huh? Not here either? No, sirree, Bob. My reputation would be in shambles if anyone saw me in a place like this. Really? How odd. I thought you'd be really into it. What? Why? Well, because Yamato said you would. It went a little something like this. Hmm, this place 
looks interesting. Which place? Oh, Yamato, hi! The store here. Words like merci are just really cute, don't you think? Oh, this place, huh? If you ever want to go inside, I think you should ask Tachibana to accompany you. Asahi? Why? Because he's a big fan of this store. The biggest, even. I'm gonna moitilate that doofus. Hey, Asahi. Thanks for coming along with me today. Mm, no problem at all. Though I wasn't really all that helpful, I guess. You don't think so? But we did so many different things together. Did we? I feel like we started to do a whole bunch of things, but they all just kind of fizzled out. Well, my lyric writing inspiration meter has gone through the roof, and it's all thanks to you. Really? You bet. I'm all used up. What kind of lyrics are you thinking? Um, well, let's see. Off the top of my head... Oh, the light of silver flows through my hands, and my tummy's all full, so it screams. I'm sad, but it's a lot like happy hands, and this tragedy may all be a dream. But if it is, then it's a dream made of silly stuff, and alas, things are starting to get really rough. So I cast my eyes up to the skies, in the wind, oh, how it teems. And giggles! Something like that. I feel personally responsible for this. I'm so, so sorry. Huh? Oh, so frustrated. Well, if it isn't old goggles, what's up, man? Hmm? What? Um, Mippity? Uh. Did, did you say Mippity? Wait, are you that... Oh, I never did properly thank you for what you did back there, so thanks. Huh? Something wrong? You look a little down. N no, uh, um, it's just... If something's wrong and you're willing to tell me about it, let me help you. Consider it a token of my appreciation. Uh, okay, I'm uh, upset because... People were saying unkind things about Mippity when I tried to tell them about her. Huh? Like what? We've never heard of any idol like that, that they said. It's so... so... frustrating. I see. So you're upset because people were dismissing her. Mippity is number one in my heart. I have eyes for no other idols. But... Uh, I suppose she really isn't known in the world at large. Well, these days, idols are a 10 yen piece a dozen, so that's really no surprise. But what really bothers me is that there's nothing I can say to them in response. What do you mean? In terms of both singing and dancing, there are plenty of idols who are m more skilled than my Mippity. But I like her anyway. I always will. I just hate that when someone speaks down about her, I have no comeback. Wow. I had no idea your, um, love for her ran so, um, deep. Uh, of course it does. But if I c can't defend her to these n naysayers, then I can never truly face her. Some fan I am. I wouldn't worry too much, Goggles. It's like you said before. I want her to climb those stairs one by one. The stairs of her own Cinderella story. One step at a time. At the pace she's most comfortable with. And I'll be rooting for her every step she takes. Anyone who wants to see Mippity succeed that badly is someone I can respect. And I'll do whatever I can to help. Huh? You will? Like, what though? What else? We'll train Mippity to be a top-tier idol, of course. What? So stand up proud, Goggles. Um, but... Sure, we can't do it all at once. But we'll climb one step at a time until we can get her the gold. Just leave the nitty gritty to me. So you ready? Come on, we've got an idol to market. Hey, wait! He already left, huh? How in the world does he expect us to make Nippity a top idol? Oh, Asahi! 
What are you doing hiding out in a place like this? Huh? Oh, I see. Not too keen on being spotted downtown by that hardcore fan of yours, huh? Um, well, yes, that's exactly right. What did he want from you anyway? Well... But if I can't defend her to these naysayers, then I can never truly face her. Pretty fanboyish stuff, really. So, what did you do? Uh, well, we talked about helping you out, which we're going to do by taking steps to make you a master idol. Huh? What are you talking about? Where did that idea come from? Now let's see. If we were going to make you into a top idol, singing and dancing should be our primary focus. Okay, first up we stretch those vocal cords. Should be a karaoke box on Main Street called Singoku Basara. Come on! Here we are. Now sing! Sing, my little bunny rabbit! Sing! Um, Asahi? What's gotten into you? I made a promise. A promise to Goggles. A promise? That was actually pretty fun! I sing my brains out! You sure did! What was that first song again? Summer Scenes of Akiba Street. It's super famous! Is that an Anka song? That's right. Singing in traditional kobushi style is really good practice. And the second one? That one was Reeks Like Pubescent Ghost. Idols cover grunge rock? Any song with that much shouting creates just the kind of mood an idol lives for. So this is really how idols practice their singing? Pretty hard to believe. Huh? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Let's just go get our dance on, shall we? Aww. But I'm really not very good. Which means it's Saki's time to shine. Oh, hi! What? Saki, you can dance? You bet. I mean, I'm not ready to dance with any stars or anything, but I've got my fair share of experience. So what are we dawdling around here for? Let's do this thing. The station plaza seems like a big enough space to me. Headed into the delusion scape? I will uh, keep watch outside. Yeah. Delusion scape. We gonna go in? All right, we've got all the space we need. Let's go nuts, people. I'm gonna get down with my bad self. Yeah, Mippity, you can do it. <sighs> okay, I'm totally toasted. Yeah, that was quite a workout for you. You sure made some big strides, though. And now you're one step closer to becoming a champion idol. Soul Patrol. I've still got a long road ahead of me, though. We'll help you make it all the way. I know you can do it, Mippity. Thank you. But, uh, Asahi? Why are you suddenly so keen on training Ryu? What happened? Oh, let's just call it a gentleman's agreement. You can do it, Mippity. see it? I do. But even more than that, what I really want to do is perform. Without the help of a delusion, through my own strength, I want to stand up and perform before a live audience. Love the enthusiasm. Let's show everyone what you're made of with that, um, fresh new tune of yours. That's all well and good, but we can't perform a concert without a proper venue, now can we? Hmm. Yeah, finding a venue will be kind of a challenge, won't it? What is it? I think I know a place. 
Sing a song, babe, today for you. No one else here, these planes, my stages. Oh, yeah, where that weirdo was performing earlier. Yep, exactly. We'll need equipment, though, won't we? Equipment, you say? Let me tell you a little story. I'm the proprietor of Silver Sound. It's an audio specialty store here in Akihabara. Been running it for nearly 20 years now. That's an awfully long time to run a business here. I hear you. But Silver Sound will cover all your audio needs. Amps, speakers, headphones. You name it, we got it. That owned a dude should have us covered. At least if his sales pitch is to be believed. I think he was on Junk Street. Welcome to Silver Sound. Hi. Um, we're looking to put on a live show. You happen to sell any equipment we could use for that? A live show, huh? Yeah! I want everyone to hear my awesome new song! But I don't even have a single speaker or microphone to my name. Oh, so you're talking gear then? Who boy, are you in for a treat? Frankly, I'm kind of shocked that a young kid like you's got such an interesting audio kit. So do you have anything I could work with? Oh yeah, for sure. Though I really can't recommend buying this kind of gear without doing your research beforehand. How come? Well, take speakers, right? If you're the discerning type, they can jump up in price pretty fast. And if you're not, well, cheap ones can get pretty crackly. Low price begets low quality. That's the way the audio world rocks and rolls, my friend. Should have known. But I don't think that'll be a problem for you. Huh? Speaker or no speaker, if you pack your song full of feeling, the crowd will go wild every time. <laughs> Might lose my audio file card if people ever caught me saying stuff like that, though. But I really do believe in the power of music. A voice chock full of emotion can pass through walls that even the strongest audio equipment can't rattle. So, Give it your all, and I know you'll be just fine. Okay, thank you. Right then. Once you got the deets worked out, by all means, give me a holler. I'll be right here. Always am. He's right, isn't he? Mippity? Mr. Onda reminded me of something. I may not be dependent on a delusion anymore, but I was still about to put all my faith in some audio equipment. Asahi. I'm not gonna rely on gear anymore either. It's gonna be all me from here on out. Oh, respect. Um, but I guess that leaves us back at square one. What do we do now? Uh, yeah, that is the question, isn't it? Made to order food and drinks. Dine with us and say we made your day. Bring this flyer in for a free drink. Made you look. Aha! Uh -huh. What is? Flyers. We can make a flyer for my performance. Oh, okay. That sort of makes sense. <laughs> After all, if they don't know the venue, how can they show up? Let's do it, Mippity. We can go to UBX to have them, uh, made. Me? Either way, UBX is said to be the cheap printing capital of Akiba. Great! I'll put my heart into some handmade flyers so people will come see me sing. We should be able to make all the flyers we need right here. What do you mean? Done and done. Oh, 
wow, they're really cute. Yep. But, uh, there's no date or venue written on them anywhere. Well, I mean, with the way things have been lately, we can't exactly commit to a date, now can we? No, I suppose not. So I'll just add the date by hand later. Then I can decide what kind of venue would best suit my performance, too. All right. That's a pretty smart way to do it, actually. Though, hold on a sec. Hmm? What is it? Saying you're going to perform in public is all well and good, but is that okay? Huh? Like with your agent. Don't you need to get permission to put on a concert? My agent? Yeah. You can't just put on concerts whenever you want, right? Idols have to coordinate shows with their agents. Whether it's a big delusion-sized event or a tiny shindig, it'd be a risk to your career not to at least check in. I hear about that all the time. It's the bane of idolhood. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Your big show may have ceased to exist when we nullified the delusion, but you are still an up-and-coming idol, right? You've even got devoted fans, like old Goggles. Yeah, I guess I do. Which means... Nippity? find him anywhere. Something wrong? Oh, Asahi! What's up? Are you looking for somebody? Um, yes. Before the never-ending day ends, I was thinking I'd like to try to put on my live show. And your agent's okay with it? Yeah. I mean, I don't think it'll be an issue. That's true. He's just going to forget all of this happened anyway once the day finally ends. That's why I want to do this now. Before people forget. Because if I do it after they forget, it'll be too late. So I've been looking around. Because I wanted to personally hand over a flyer. Oh, did we miss part of the town or something? No, just one specific person. Somebody who I think deserves to receive a flyer directly from me. And who would that be? You know, that guy. You're going to have to be more specific. The one who's been a supporter of mine from the very start. Megane. Oh, Goggles! Yeah, I think he'll be really happy to get a flyer from you. I'm sure he will be. Nippity? Say, Asahi, will you help me find him? You bet. I've got a gentleman's agreement to make good on after all. out of places to look, though it does seem a little odd that we haven't run into him yet. I really want to see him. I'd be so happy if I could. And you have absolutely no idea where he might be? Well, now that you mention it... You got something? Maybe. I'm not sure. But just maybe. good feeling about this spot, too. Seems like the perfect place. Any other ideas where he might be? Maybe he only ever existed in my heart. Mippity? Side streets seem to be goggle-free. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet. I wonder what kind of person old Goggles really is. There must be more to him than meets the eye. For idols, people like him are an absolute necessity. You'd be lost without them. You would? A delusion scheme! We gonna 
go in. Headed into the delusion scape. And... No dice here either, huh? Do you think maybe I can't see him anymore? I mean, this is goggles we're talking about. He's got to be an Occupus somewhere. If he's anywhere at all. What do you mean? Well... Man, where is this guy? Maybe he's not in Akihabara anymore. Akihabara is in a sealed loop right now, though. So he has to be. And besides, we haven't searched everywhere. So the fact that we can't find him doesn't necessarily mean... Wait, that's it! He must have seen it! Your idol event from before, remember? He noticed there was something unusual about it, which means... He must be in my delusionscape! Come on, Asahi, we have to hurry! Nippity? Yo, Goggles, this is not a good place for you to be. You're in danger here. I noticed. But before we get you out of here, Nippity, did you want to give him a flyer? Yeah. Is something wrong? No. Nippity? Um, Megane, would you please take one of these for me? W what's this? My first step towards becoming the idol from Akihabara I've always wanted to be. Wanted to be? You really didn't get it, Asahi, did you? What do you mean? I'm not actually an idol. I want to be more than anything. But right now, I'm just a regular girl. You're not an idol? But then why... Wait, no. Are you saying... Megane, because you were here for me, I was able to live out my dream of becoming an idol. Because... I was... here for you? <laughs> So, my theory was correct. A grand phantasm! Without fans, an idol is nothing. She can't even rightfully call herself an idol. But I have fans. Or at least one fan. So it makes sense you'd have misunderstood the situation all this time. This is all just too much to process. Egane, you were my delusion, aren't you? I'm... a d delusion What's going on, Nippity? We nullified the idol delusion, but my fan, the one called Megane, continued to exist. So I met the criteria. I had fans which made me an idol, or made it so I could play idol for a while. That's... This really is the life I've always wanted for myself. But what kind of idol has no one who goes to see her? No one who worships her? I have that, though. I had Megane. So that's it, then. That's who I am. No one was selling Mippity goods. And there wasn't a single person who'd ever even heard of her before me. It's all my fault. All my doing. It's a story as old as time itself. Goggles? I knew there was something strange about this world. But I never thought that the strange thing would be me. But there's one thing I want to know. What does it mean for me to be a d delusion? What's going to happen to me? You'll... Uh... As long as a delusion exists, the deluser will forever remain in the space between delusion and reality. But then, if that delusion is dispelled, everything about it will cease to exist. Or to have ever existed. Including you. That's the long and short of it anyway. And the specifics as they apply to you two are really up to you two. Asahi. So you're saying the only way for Mippity to return to her reality is for me to be snuffed out? I can't believe that. I can. I want to believe. 
and I want you to let me believe. But why? Well, it makes for a really touching ending to this NPC subplot, don't you think? And I can go out as Mippity's number one fan. P provably, I incontrovertibly, number one. <sighs> so, Mippity, please erase me. Erase this false existence from your world. And when you meet your future fans, give them an extra wide smile. For me. No, I, I can't. And to try to remember, even if it's just a fleeting sensation, that you're loved. Remember that I existed. Your number one fan, Megane Taro. Mippity, I believe in you. Megane! What are you going to do, Mippity? My heart hurts so much. I should have known that even now, even with what's at stake, he'd have my back. That's exactly why I have to show him what that support means to me. Are you sure you can go through with it? I have to. I have to nullify this delusion. I'm going to show him my gratitude with all of my strength. The enemy's all alone. Good. Pull you away. <laughs> Members of the gate. This. Chase bullet. Here we go. Idol Grand Phantasm. Yeah. Huh? So, why am I still... You've got a little spare time. You'll still be able to stick around until this endless day finally ends. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. Just be sure you don't leave here with any regrets, Goggles. Take what little time you have left to... W what are you talking about? Huh? Well, you just said it was wonderful to be back, so I figured... I mean, what kind of regrets would I have? Huh? I was just worried that because I d didn't disappear, maybe I wasn't Mippity's number one fan after all. <laughs> so you actually wanted to disappear? N no, but I wanted to go out the w way I came in. I was born as Mippity's number one fan, and I I'll die that way. Thank you, Megane. Even if I forget you, some piece of me will never let you go. My very first fan, Megane Taro. But right now, we have to go. We have a quest to finish. Y you can do it, Mippity. I'll be behind you forever and ever and ever. Every step of the way. 